my name is Jamal Manigold. I'm 11 years old. I'm in the sixth grade and I live in Philadelphia, PA. I love to cook. I'm standing in my kitchen where I do lots of my cooking. I mix and create ingredients. And I have to admit, they come out perfect. First, if you'll follow me over here, you'll see that I have my salmon already pre-seasoned. So if you follow me over here, you'll see that I like to cook my, I like to cut my onion in fours. So I'm going to cut my onion in fours. I have to peel it first. Okay, now I like to cut my onions in fours. I think it's more easier to cut my onions in fours because it lets me take more time on it. And it gives me smaller pieces so that I have them. Secondly, I have my lemon, which I like to cook. And I like to put like a little thing right here. So when I prepare my lemon, I can just sit it down right here. I cut it right here. It's a little small bite-sized pieces. I have my tomato where I'm going to dice. After I'm done all that, I have my fresh mushrooms. And I do that. If you'll follow me over here, you'll see the rest of my ingredients. I have one stick of margin butter, some fresh mint, some seafood seasoning, some very original olive oil, uh, some great garlic sauce, and some red wine vinegar. To start off, I you put your fire up to a very, very, very low. Now, almost until it kind of goes off, until you have like a nice little fire going. After you do that, you put a little, only a little olive oil on your grill to cover the whole pan until it makes a little like a light sheet, like a light sheet and everything. So you have a good little light sheet so you can put your salmon on. After you do that, you want to mix it so you cover your whole grill. After you do that, after you do that, you put three halves of the butter in your pan so it can be nice and ready. You put the butter in there and you want to mix that until it gives you a nice mixture and it covers your whole pan. So if you'll follow me back over here, we can dip our salmon in the flour. So we're going to take our flour and take a little pinch of it and just sprinkle it around your salmon. Just that it gives it a little sheet and then you're going to pat it. You're going to flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. Take a pinch, mix it, and pat it. Pat it. And you're going to do that for both sides until you have them both ready to put on your grill. You're going to take your salmon. Before, I'm going to put a little more on the next salmon. So that it's nice and ripe to put on your grill. Okay, after I'm done that, I'm going to put, I'm ready to put it on the grill. So I take my lemon salmon. I'm just going to sit it on the grill so that it's nice and laying on there. 
I'm gonna put my second one, lay it right on there. You don't want to let it keep on, keep on flipping it and hitting it a lot. Just let it rest and let it cook for a while. So, so hi, my name is Jamal Manigold. Uh, my some of my background is while this is cooking, I'm gonna let you know some of my background. Uh, I've been in Law and Order. Uh, I've been in a lot of different films with uh, lots of different celebrities. So being Master Chef is like an honor. Uh, being on Chop Junior is like an honor to just be on it and to experience all the cooking, and everything. I love cooking, and after a while, you should back to this. After a while, you should hear a light uh, sizzling sound. You hear a light sizzling sound, and let's start with our sides. We're gonna start with our sides. After you do this, you're gonna want to wash your hands because your hands is gonna be nice and geeky from all the food and different stuff. So you want to do that. And then after you do that, you want to start with this. So you're going to grab your different ingredients. You're going to grab your different ingredients. You just want to cut it up some more. And then you're going to take this. And put it right in there. Put it right in there. Also, you're going to put some red wine. You're also going to put some diced tomatoes. About five or six diced tomatoes. very fully cut mushrooms. Cut that some more. And give that good stir. We're going to add a little bit more garlic. Add a little garlic. And you're gonna stir that. You're gonna stir it to make sure it's okay. And lastly, you're gonna put oil. And make sure it's nice and moist. After you don't know that, you're gonna give that a good stir. Chop it up, make sure it's all nice. Give that a good stir. Give that a nice good stir. So that is all nice and mixed up with the garlic and the little mushrooms and everything. After you've done that, you're going to go back to your salmon. We're going to go back to the salmon. And we're going to grab like a spatula or something to flip it with. We're going to see if our salmon is ready to flip. Oh. This is the way our salmon should look. It should have a light kind of crust on it. A brownish, kind of orange. Yeah, this one's not done yet. We should have a good brownish, kind of orange. And we're going to leave that to cook some more. We're going to come back to our sides and with our spoon and mix that up some more. We're going to mix this up some more so that's nice. And when you start to hear the sizzle, that means it's done. Yet, so it's not done. Come back to here. We're going to see if this is done yet. We're going to flip this, and it's still not done. 
So we're going to just let this sit for a while. Like I said, no need to keep on flipping it and messing with it. Just let it sit and rest in the pot. Pan. Um, Chop Chef, uh, if you pick me, I'll really make you a lot of money. And um, it will be an honor for me and my family. Like I said, I love cooking. And I'll be one of the best chefs you'll ever see. And I'll make you a lot of money, like I said. Uh, after you do that, you're going to put some seafood seasoning on your sides. And then you're going to put some sautéed mushrooms. And you're going to put some more sautéed mushrooms in your sides. Just so it's nice and even with everything else. Nice and even. You're following me over here. Come on, guys. Catch up. Uh, our knife. We're just going to put some more sautéed mushrooms. Uh, some here. Just chop them up a little bit more. So we're going to take these sautéed mushrooms. And add them some more to our sides. Now, our sides are starting to become to sizzle. It's starting to sizzle. That means it's ready to turn off and ready to be done. So that's done. And we can move on. We can move on back to our, we can move on back to our sauce. Some of your sides on the plate. So if you can't fit it on the plate, you're just gonna have to put it on side. You're gonna grab some. You're just gonna cover it on the top. 